little behind the scenes of how my Instagram reels are made. I got two shots today. I got two shots today, all right? I got two bags. Two bags, a little behind the scenes for y'all. Beautiful Friday at the shop and I got two bags today. Two bags. Here we go, top of the cans open. Beautiful day, feeling good. Shot number one. Damn. All right, all right, we're good. we're good. I got a little more weight on this one, we're good. Got a little more weight on this one. Ugh. Damn. Both of them, trash. I felt good, but just, not today, not not my day, I guess. Where you? Where'd you say you came from? Carrollton. Oh, I don't know why. Every, I always get people's. It's like one of that green truck. It's like 2500. That's like really big. Oh, uh, Nick. Yeah. I yeah. Saw him up there. yeah. Yeah, I saw him on uh, on TikTok the other day. Look, yeah. I wanted to show some love to my guys. They're closer to my area than they are from uh, to, to Southern Tire from Carroll Carrollton. So shout out Robert and Nick. Um, I, I never get to see those guys as much as I would like to. Three and a half inch lift. With the nittos, got gotta have the nittos. What are you what are you doing if you're not if you're not putting the nittos on your truck? But I just wanted to make sure to show some love to my guys that drove all the way over here to get their stuff done. Second truck that we've done for them all the way from Carrollton and uh, something that we were talking about. So they've been uh, I gotta <laughs> I gotta put us out here. Look, I came out with the Al Rabi threes today. And uh, isn't that what they say about the black Air Forces? Black I've been, Air Forces. I've been, I've been, <laughs> been getting into the getting into the shoe game, so I'm gonna put my guys' we got, Instagram. We got two more entries on, here on the page. Get out of here. Oh. Get out of here. Wait. With, oh, the Crocs. Crocs. The 32. Hey, Steve will do it. Signed it. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. Yeah. We got That's the dab one. Really? It was like right here, and then like Jonathan Jones right here. He faded away a little. Where, where yeah. did Where did he sign it at? Uh, liquor store. I met him at. Oh, y'all yeah, went to one of the meetups. Where did they? Was it in Athens? Uh, no, it wasn't Carrollton. It was my friend's. Liquor yeah, it was his friend's liquor store. Really? Yeah. Big one. That's crazy. It. Well, you said it was that one. It's both of them. That Jonathan Jones, Steve was right here. Oh, Steve signed both of them. He's right there. Dang, that's crazy. That's cool. I watched the I watched the Nope Boys a lot. He's funny. Yeah, they're that's really cool. Funny. He's crazy. Hey, I wanted to show some love to my boys for coming over from Carrollton. Beautiful last truck. Y'all need to come back and get you a big old nine-inch lift kit though. Nine inch, yeah. What you need to do. I know I'm gonna get some crap in the comments for this one because I talk about my favorite truck or my favorite oh. color yeah, yeah. or my favorite this or my favorite that, but today I'm with one of my favorite <laughs> customers. See that? See that one might get me some some comments. <laughs> Mr. Jim Hill, the, the oldest teenager you've ever met in your entire life. We, we finally got him in the shop to get some new wheels on his Silverado. And I couldn't be any happier with how it turned out. We got this uh, 2011, 2012, what year is it? 2011. 2011, Chevy Silverado 1500. He's the real that wide bow tie now is really what the case is. So the last time he was here, it'll be a month in August, or sorry, a year in August. Got them set up with the nine inch McGoy's kit. Absolutely love it. The black and milled accents. 20 by 12 KG1 Veterans, part of their contender series. Absolutely love this wheel. I love that KG1's doing the shallow cap now. Got my man set up with some spike lug nuts, some chrome spikes. Gotta love it. Gotta love the Nitto Ridge Grapplers on the truck. Nittos, shout out Nitto Pit Crew. Shout out KG1, Andy, Josh, Gary, the whole squad from KG1. Absolutely love, look at the Russian struts. Yeah, buddy. So it's one thing that you guys don't know. Look at this. Look at the tips. Look at the tips, Jim. Uh, that's so one good. thing, one thing that y'all don't know about Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim has a YouTube channel. I'm a big fan of his channel. See, I'm a subscriber to your channel. See, flip. We're flipping the role now. Flipping, flipping script on him. Mr. Jim is a uh, competitive. Adrenaline junkie. Adrenaline junkie, yes, but he's a competitive uh, jet ski flipper. I guess is the right way to put it. You flip jet skis for a living is really what you do. And he, he's honestly just one of the most interesting guys to, to sit down and talk to. I love everything about him. Love his vibe, love his energy, everything about it. You got the red gang decal in there. Did we put that on there last time you were here? I got it. No, you yeah. came like six months ago for something and we did yep. the, that's right. Got the brake dang decal and then uh, getting set up with a southern tire on top as well. But had to show some love to my man finally coming through. How many videos have we commented on and, and made jokes in the comments about finally making this happen? And we're finally here today. I'm super excited for him. He's going to be killing the game at the beach. Oh, uh, can't, almost almost forgot we did a uh, 
technically it's a, a single row set, but it's technically a double row set as well of uh, infinite off-road wheel lights, color shift. You know, you got all your colors. Infinite Off-Road has a great product. Huge shout out to Infinite Off-Road for making such an amazing set of wheel lights that we can put on there. One thing that you guys need to know about the Infinites, this is a 17 and a half inch set of wheel lights and it just barely clears on a 22. So obviously it clears, it's not gonna move, the fitment's good. We just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of shed some light on that. But Infinite Off-Road, KG1s, Nittos, Bread Gang, Southern Ties, Everybody's out here showing love. Shout out, shout out to Mr. Jim Hill for coming through, getting some wheels, and just uh, having a good day with us today. Oh, no, no. No? All right, all right, go ahead. Jeez, that's loud. That's, re that's really loud. Don't come over here talking all this trash, tell me to get the camera, and then you're not gonna do nothing. Scare. Man, you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been excited to build one of those. It's always been 2022, 2022, refresh, refresh, refresh. That's all it's been. But I'm, I'm excited for this one. Yes, 2021 GMC Denali, the uh, the super nice white, not the off eggshell, not no, not no uh, um, Philip off white bull crap. I'm just kidding. I love you, Philip. 2021. Some kind of, some kind of. Is it really? Oh, 2022. Non-refreshed, sorry. I had no idea this was a 22. I'm out here making myself sound stupid. It's really a 22. I'm excited for this one. Uh, I don't even remember what lift kit we're putting on this, to be honest with you. I know it's getting a nine inch lift. 37s and some American forces though. Carbon Pro, the 6.2 Denali. Big fan, big fan. This one's gonna look good. I'm trying to do more of the before and after for you guys. So you can see the transformation smile. This truck. <laughs> How do you go from griping to instant smile? I haven't heard griping since my grandma used to say it. Griping. So the thing is with this one, this is a 2020 body style, right? We call it a 2021, whatever you want to call it. This truck just came off the train. He just picked this up. This truck was delivered to the dealership by GM recently. It's a 2021 old body style, but it's a 2022 truck. Got the old interior and everything. He ordered this before the new body styles came out and he just got it. I like the leather in it. That's really a nice truck. I would Literally. rather have this truck than a refreshed, like not you know, Denali. Nobody's ever uh, nobody's ever sat back here. I'm just letting you know, when you're watching this video, that wide bow tie was the first one to sit in your uh, your back seat. Just letting you know. That wide bow tie. First one to first one to lay in your back seat. I'm just letting you know. A hundred percent. He's gonna watch this video. So Nap time. Um, get as much sleep as you can in the back, and I'm gonna get as much as I can in the front. And he's gonna think it's funny. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Two hundred and forty-seven oh. miles. <sighs> they don't even fill them up for you from the factory. Trying not to scuff anything in here. <laughs> You think customers get upset when they see us having fun in their vehicles? He shouldn't. He just left about 30 seconds ago. It's not like we're hiding. He I didn't even see him. Up. Hey, how's it going? I like your new truck. Just letting you know. He's very nice. you watching at home? His mom is very nice. Your who do what? So he is very nice and his mother is very nice. So Hello, Miss Mother. Nice to meet you as well. I didn't even... This is just getting awkward now. <laughs> but I was the first one to sit and lay down in your back seat. I hope you guys are excited. 2022 Denali. The Denali. Ultimate. Ultimate. Yeah. Denali Ultimate. Ultimate. Hey, what's up? It's Alex from Southern Tire. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, do you want to come pick your truck up today? Uh, I think my dad would like to get it. If you want to come get it, it's done. We can film it today. You can come get it. You drive away into the sunset. It was really, I was, I was actually really excited for this one to get done. This was one of those, uh, this was one of those builds that I had. I mean, I, I've seen the set of wheels up here, the sets of Forgiatos that are sitting in the window for weeks and weeks, and I had no idea that this build was coming. And y'all show up with this truck, and I'm like, oh, that's gonna be cool. And I walk through the shop, and I see them put the front wheels on it, and I kind of stopped. I was like, wow, that's like. That looks really good. So what we're gonna do, and I like doing this just because it's fun to include people in the videos, is uh, I'm not gonna put you in the video, but can you hold the camera? 
tight. Yeah, hold it tight. Don't drop it. I didn't buy that, but don't don't drop it. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna film your new truck. You gotta you gotta keep the truck in the. Yeah yeah yeah. There you go. You wanna walk a little faster? There you go. You got Alex in it. Yep. You can tell tell me about your your new truck over here. This is your truck. That's not their truck. Don't tell them I said that. But that's that's your truck. What it is? Big Ford. Just going to Twenty. Uh, this this truck's got thirty nine miles on it right now. So we got twenty twenty two. F-350 with the with the four Giottos, the 26s. Got, gotta have the four Giottos. Do some walk around. And, oh, you're in the video? <laughs> Obviously the rain started coming. Um, I might just send it and go out in the rain if I have to. How? What's up, Hal? Best UPS driver in the nation. Make it quick. It's raining a little bit, but make it quick. I gotta show off. It's got 39 miles on it. Gotta show off the four Giottos. I did a little bit of that though. I the, did, that little bit. did you did you show them the four Giottos? Yeah. One thing I really like about the 350s and the 450s is the the look that you get from the back of the truck. Just the width on it. The width on it is just is amazing. Yeah. And I mean, for something to look so good, you're gonna think that you know somebody has to go above and beyond. It's just three and a half inch ready lift wheels, tires, and some rock lights. Did an eight piece rock light on it. Love it. Change it. Got the ready lift in there we do a lot of ready lifts on these trucks but if i and i was telling a customer earlier today if i was ever going to get a dually and i was actually going to work with it it'd be a 350 450 or even like the ram 3500s the new front end on the rams are really nice but the truck turned out really good and i want to make sure to show show some love to my to my guys that watch the channel and uh, let some people be on youtube for a little while you know i wouldn't be anywhere without you guys that watch the video so you know why not why not show some love to y'all and let y'all be a part of the video sometimes um, I do have the, I'm going to throw it out there. I got the stock wheels for sale. If you guys want to come cash my guy out for the stock wheels. If, if anybody's looking for the factory 17s, literally, what, 39 miles on them? 39. 39 miles. And that's before test drive. So less than 30 miles on the on the set of wheels and tires. If you guys are uh, interested, make sure you guys hit me up in my, uh, my DMs on Instagram. What's he doing back there? All kinds of boards. You want to? Let's get this bread. You're gonna look back at this at some point and be like, "Dang, I should have said it." You're gonna, you're gonna. Let's get this bread. It sounds so cheesy right now, but when you see it on TV, you're gonna be like, "Dang, I wish I said it." Hey, boy, come on. Can't be a YouTuber and you don't want to talk. Oh, all right. Come on, man. I believe it. I believe it. Next time, next. When are y'all coming back? We can come back whenever we need to, huh, boy? Next time, next time you come up here, you better. It's Granddaddy's truck, but you have to come It's your blast. truck. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's uh, it's your truck. He's still focused on his any level. You gonna say let's get this? It's not that cool. We'll your truck's cool. That truck doesn't have four Giottos on it. Yours has four Giottos. Go stand next to it. We'll use it as a thumbnail or something. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. You gotta give a rock star some video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you that. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's get this bread. This bread. I believe in you. Right. In spirit. In spirit, we're there. We're, we're, we're there in spirit. Hey, let's get his bread. At home all day, all day. Yeah, all day. <laughs> all day. Like, I gotta, he hopped up from his sleep. I gotta go with him. Hold on, hold on. I, I think I got a... Uh, that's, that's all I have left is... Uh, tearing up a brand new truck. <laughs> got least, a lot of these stickers, like on my truck when I took it off, mm -hmm. it, the paint was faded around it. Uh, this probably didn't have a chance, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Now this one, 100%, yeah, this one's not going to have any time to fade. You know how much Ford paid for those stickers? You know how much you just paid for those stickers? He just Somebody paid. just paid a lot of money for these stickers. <laughs> and you're over here messing it all up. Same person who wanted them off. <laughs> and just like that, we are good. Back at the door. One more time. Oh, wow, that is a, it's almost like a, it's like a, like a cape. Like a Superman cape. Yeah. That's the only size I had, I'm sorry. It's cool, but it's yours, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Weird to hold it. Ow. <sighs> Oh, I just hit my shin on the alignment rack. Oh, yes. 
But what I was gonna say is it's really weird to hold the camera with my left hand. Got my cup. So the power's out at the shop. It's like 8.15. There's a couple customers waiting outside, staring at me, looking at me all weird. And uh, so I get off the interstate this morning at about 7.15. And obviously you can tell right away, you're looking at the businesses and stuff that the power's out, right? So I go one stoplight, I go to the next stoplight, go to the next one, it's all out. Come up to the shop, power's out at the shop. So I'm just in the back of my mind, I'm just like, damn, I really hope the, I really hope the power ain't out down there at the Chick-fil-A. And I, I get down there and of course, you know, God's chicken, you know, power's, power's on down there. That's all that matters, right? Gotta get my coffee in the morning. Little shop update for you guys, I guess. While we're waiting, we're still waiting for the wheels to come in for this one. This one is uh, still here. I'm trying to finish this video for at least a week now. Excited for that one, excited for y'all to see that one. The Broncos just about finished up. We got new front and rear bumpers, fender delete kit, some lights, some rock slide steps, a couple of cool things. I'm a big fan of the Broncos, the newer Broncos. Any level lift still up here, getting a couple of things. We got a, uh, got a Jeep over here for some, uh, it's getting blue wheels actually, which is kind of unique blue wheels and then we have this uh, Hulk charger getting an airbag kit look it's got the Hulk smash letters it's got all the comic book Thor and Hulk on it it's kind of cool suicide doors wheel lights it's got all kinds of lights it's got custom headlights all kinds of stuff kind of cool Thor and Hulk kind of cool you can't tell me. Zach! It's Mr. Meaty, man. <laughs> <laughs> thing I thought when you pulled this around is damn Jake's gonna not like the fact that there's stickers on it I saw it you know what I don't want back there so I could have uh, I could have jacked it up and spun the tire so the sticker wasn't showing instead I just uh, I just drove around the block and cut back and it was fine I remember you saying in the video the Nitto stickers come off in one piece too right. yeah. the, uh, the good side's the other side though it's ready for you <laughs> how do you how do you turn a plain Jane Denali into a bust down rolly how do you do that, huh? By throwing a set of American Forces and Nitto tires on it, and a chrome FTS lift. That's how you turn it into a bust down. Nine inch chrome FTS lift kit, 24 by 14s, American Force, the Concave, the Fat Boys, and the Nittos. I, obviously you guys are gonna know why I like this truck so much. One, it's got Nittos on it, obviously. We, we, built, we built a couple similar to this actually, but something that's a little bit different about this one that I don't think we've ever done, obviously that nine inch chrome FTS kit is just, oh, it's, fucking, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. I'd get down and kiss it. I'd get down and just insult the, this mud. Absolutely beautiful, I love it. I get the uh, chrome FTS slip, 24 by 14 American Force. I don't remember what it's, these aren't the Sabre, is it? No. That's the Morph. The Morph, sorry. The, 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 um, the fuel wheel looks like the Sabre. 2414 American Force with the spike lug nuts. Are they doing the, uh... That, no, that one's not some plastic. That one's plastic. But it's the new shallow cap, so it does look pretty good. New shallow cap does look good, but look, obviously, so no 26s, but the 37, 1350, 24 Ridge Grappler is one of my favorite freaking tires. I love when people do the big net. I love it. I love it. Not a lot of people spend the money on the big nittos, and I love when people do that. So obviously you guys are going to know why I like this truck so much. Look, somebody driving your truck over there? Who's driving your truck? Good question. It's probably right in the way. Oh, I guess, yeah. Look at the big boys back there. Jeez. 
It's like twinsies. Don't get hit. Might get hit. I hope they don't. Big boy. All the white trucks, the forged wheels. We need to move. Probably need to move. We're out here, you know, just being paid actors and whatnot. Oh, now the. See, this is this is the problem with owning a shit box. Even though I, I love you, skinny boat. I'm, I'm I'm just playing, but me and Mikey, I should have filmed it. Me and Mikey just fought for about 15 minutes to get the damn hood open because my hood latch is messed up on the white truck now. So we spent the last 15 minutes out spilling oil all over the place. We spoff shit. We spent the last 15 minutes fighting with this thing, trying to get the hood open. Just a freaking nightmare. And now I'm spilling oil all over the place. It's not like I don't already leak two quarts a month, three quarts a month out of this truck. But you know, this is this is what it's like driving a uh, driving a sweet peach like the uh, like the skinny bow tie here. Just the the realness of driving the skinny bow tie. So just sweet peach of a truck. You know what I mean? Leaks two or three quarts of oil a month. AC don't work. Stereo don't half ass work. Always putting oil in the damn thing. You know, it just life's real out here. The grind, the, the grind is real. But I will tell you, I love the old girl, and I'm pretty excited uh, for what's to come at some point. I want to do a pre-runner build on the old girl at some point, and uh, got some new wheels and tires. So, pretty excited. No, they're not going on this, obviously. But if y'all want to buy them, you can. 100 bucks, a couple hundred bucks, why not? I do want to do a pre-runner build on this at some point. This this sweet peach of a build. I love it. I love her so much. Is it